Vlog! It's the start of a new week. I'm about to go to the gym. I got some really cool stuff coming up this week, and so we're gonna have fun this week. Let's go. Another banga. Make a call, make a bong, 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 make a call, make a beat, but the bong, 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 your body, make a call, make a bong, 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 on the mic. So I'm literally on my way out the door, but I feel like I'm forgetting something. Hopefully it's not the case. So I just realized what I forgot. Celsius, what? We gotta go back. Home away from home. Ah, we've made it. All right, so I was working out, but I had to take a little oh, break. Yeah, I've got a meeting <laughs> working during the writing of our so I brought my work laptop to my gym because we have like this little work area. I could have did it in a cafe too. I got a bunch of tables in there. But taking a little break from the workout to do this meeting and then it's back to the hustle. Somebody would open it and if they had one of the common people who was in green, they would have... Hi, vlog. So I just finished doing some uh, basketball drills and stuff like that for like two hours. 1800 calories, pretty good. I'm taking a little mini break uh, to get a facial. I'm a live timer, so my gym has all these amenities. So I'm gonna get a facial, and then after that, do some strength training, and then we gotta go to the store and get our stuff for meal prep, um, which I kinda don't even know what I wanna eat this week. I'm sure there'll be chicken involved, but y'all gotta give me some meal prep ideas. Cause I'd be really just doing the same the same meals. It'd be good though, but I need some variety. So put me on. Here, I'm gonna grab you a clipboard and a pen. Okay. All right, so I'm clearly finished um, working out. I'm about to get dressed, go get something to eat. I've been here a million hours. I need to just uh, my smoothie first, protein shake. I think I'm gonna get a salad, maybe, maybe. But I also need to go to the grocery store to grab my stuff for meal prep. So we'll see what happens. I just realized I also forgot to give y'all my post facial review. It was really, really good. And I wish I could tell y'all more than that, but I definitely slept. I was knocked out like within five minutes, but I was trying to figure out what my face looked so hydrated. I forgot I did a whole facial like an hour ago, but I fell asleep. I woke up, she was like, you're all done. My idea was a whole hour. Judge yourself. Fuck. Hits every time. We've got our salad! We've got some chicken, some salmon bites, some salmon. I think I'm gonna do this for dinner tonight and we'll prep these throughout the week. The little engine that could. Houston. We have a problem. All right, so it's Easter time, and I need to show y'all what I done found. My favorite candy on this planet is Starburst jelly beans, but they're seasonal, and they literally only come around during Easter. And I'm mad because I'm on like this whole healthy wave. I've been meal prepping and eating healthy options and I don't eat candy and ice cream and all that stuff anymore. You gotta know these going in this cart. I don't know, I don't, I judge yourself. I deserve it. I'd be at the gym five, six days a week for hours, burning 3,000 plus calories. I can afford to eat a couple of jelly beans here and there. If you ain't never had Starburst jelly beans, your life is empty. I don't know what you've been doing. I don't. Everything I need. If you don't shake your sandwich, 
I didn't solid till last year. And I know I'm late. No, like real late. But nobody told me how amazing solids could be. Now, maybe y'all did tell me. That's beside the point. We're here now. That's why it matters. Oh my gosh. It's not so bad after all. It's amazing. All right, so one of the things that I always have to make sure that I'm meal prepping is snacks, healthy snacks, which my go-to is great for like watermelon because if I don't, it's going to be Oreos and, and who knows. So we're going to these off. I have these really cool containers from Amazon that I put them in so that when I have like a craving for something sweet or a snack, that I eat something that's actually Healthy instead of not healthy. Don't judge me. Sometimes I eat a little bit. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's okay. Alexa, pause. Oh. Before I get flamed. You got great. Mmm, holy dog. Pro tip. Um, pro tip is to sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice on the fruit that you uh, meal prep it just helps preserve them or keep them from browning so they don't look crazy i normally have enough to fill all three of these jars all the way up i should have grabbed the other bag but nevertheless i want to see a picture of my grandparents i keep it on my fridge this is from way back in the day I think some of y'all probably know them a little bit, but that's my grandfather, that's my grandmother. Yeah. Watermelon, we got watermelon. First stream break. So boom, two of them are done. We still got to finish the other ones they are still cooking, but this set is garlic brown sugar glazed salmon with asparagus. I'm still waiting on the baked chicken to get done. We're gonna do that with potatoes and asparagus too, but this is gonna be so yummy. The hardest part is not eating this right now. Meal prep is pretty much done. Only four days this week, I got potatoes, asparagus, chicken here, baked grilled chicken breast. You guys have already seen the salmon. Um, I finished my overnight oats. They're already in the refrigerator. I don't want to take them back out to show you, but we're set. One day later. Good morning, vlog. Um, it's a new day. As you can see, I'm dressed up. Um, I'm driving to do something pretty cool today and tomorrow. Um, like an hour and 20 minutes from my house. But, uh, fun fact, I work for Microsoft Corporation as a cloud solution architect. Um, and that's kind of what I do for my day job. But outside of that, um, I work with some pretty incredible people who know that I am a public speaker and it's something that I really enjoy doing. And so um, sometimes they hit me up to MC some really, really cool Microsoft events, which I'm getting over to do today. So um, we're on the way. I'm in a bit of traffic. I'm still going to get there in good time, though. Um, and so I'm going to take you guys with me so you can see what it's like a day in the life of uh, a Microsoft employee who does things outside of what they do for their um, regular job. So let's go. All right, vlog. We have made it. Um, I look like a million bucks today. I got to get checked in. I'm so excited. It's like a gazillion people here. Um, so we'll, I'll let you guys see what it looks like on the inside. It could be a challenge to be up 
here in front of all these amazing people, but when you're able to push through technical difficulties and mics going out and still land a message, that, that just, that's phenomenal. It's the difference between someone being good and great. So one more time, just for me as a speaker, here's the thing I'm going to do. So I just finished uh, leading us through the first half of the day. We had some really, really good presentations. Um, some speakers, our vice president of Microsoft Biz Apps, Power Apps actually, did a presentation on Copilot, which is really cool. If you don't know what Copilot is, it's really dope, super dope AI, you should look it up. Um, but they got like a 30 minute break before I'm back up. I think I'm emceeing um, in the Tech Tech one after this, I gotta make sure. And then, uh, yeah, I'm a little hungry. I did not eat breakfast on my way here. Um, but so far, so good. We're doing a good job. We're doing our own. So I took some of the talks that I worked with. Listen, I know you guys hear my voice in the room. Go ahead and start finding your seats for me. We have something really awesome getting ready to take place. Go ahead, start finding those seats for me. Start finding those seats for me. Welcome back for lunch. Now, really quickly, because I told you guys we were going to be doing energy checks throughout the night. I want to just see who's paying attention. I know you have some tacos. I had me a couple of tacos. More like three. That's, that's uh, Michael got to get some work out there. But let's do a really quick energy check. Let me get this out of the room. Let me see my hands. Let me see those hands. Okay. I told you guys, after lunch, it starts to get a little like this. All right, let's just get this. Yeah, there's a Microsoft event called Making It Real, and we invite all of our federal customers. So all of the government agencies are here who own any Microsoft products, specifically those around biz apps, um, business applications. If you're into tech, you know what that is. And so you got like the Army here, other folks from the DOD, other FedSIF agencies, and they're all here learning about how to use our technology to modernize their processes, increase, you know, just everything that they do, make it easier, make it more efficient. And so it's been a really good group. Like normally when I'm emceeing like federal events, it can be like give or take go folks can, it depends on if they had their coffee or not, whether they're like with the vibes, but this group has been really good. This is actually my second year um, doing this event and it's grown. So last year, I think there were maybe like 200, 300 people. This year we have 900 registrants, which is like crazy. Um, but we're done with day one. I'm about to take this suit off, put some sweat clothes on, get in the car. I got like an hour and 20 minute drive home and I actually need to go to the gym. I didn't have the time to go this morning because I had to get here. Um, so Celsius will be my portion today. So I probably need to eat as well. They have some food. I had like some chicken tacos earlier, but um, let's go on and get on the road. I should have brought my gym at What was I thinking? I wasn't, and that's okay. Well, we gonna, we gonna get there. All right, so as you can see, I'm actually not on the road yet. Fortunately, I forgot my Crocs at home. And so, driving the dress shoes, not the vibes. So I'm stopping at Target to see if I can grab some slides or something real quick. Might grab some Starbucks too. I might have bought more than slides, but that's what you go to Target to do. All right, I've changed. It took me 5,000 years to get home, but we've changed. I got my associates, I'm gonna go to the gym. Let's go sweat. We're walking back because I forgot to lock my car door. Good morning vlog, it's a new day. As you guys can see, I am suited and ready to go. 
um the sun isn't even all the way up yet i'm walking kind of fast as you can see because i want to make sure i have time to grab starbucks before i make this drive um to go MC the second day of the microsoft event and so we got to get our starbucks let's go crazy fro going on um traffic just started slowing down so i guess i'll talk to you guys while i wait for the humans to start moving again i just crossed over into virginia um as you can see the sun is shining i don't know why my gps takes me this way to get to the event venue but farms and animals everywhere and land and openness and grass <laughs> yesterday it had me on like a dirt road i was like i didn't even know there were dirt roads over here um but it got me there it's probably taking me around traffic um i'm trying to save this starbucks but i don't think it's gonna make it i still got 45 minutes left till i get there i don't know it's looking like i'm gonna have to crush this um it's so peaceful this morning. I love being outside before the sun comes up. I don't know. It's just something about it. It just feels right. All right, we made it. Long drive, but I'm here. I'm about to go get checked in and pick up my script for the day. Um, it's whole key kind of cold. It's probably going to warm up. It, it felt pretty good yesterday. And I didn't leave my gym bag at home. So we can change out of this suit and head straight to the gym when we leave here today. I'm hoping today goes by fast. Um, I'm probably gonna need to grab another Celsius before I head to the gym, but we'll be straight. Minor updates. For, um, so as, you can read it here, but, um, so before we begin, I need everyone to take out their phone. We have an updated QR code. If it ends up on the internet, go ahead. Mic check one two one two. Mic check one two. Is this thing on? It is. All right, listen. Before I do anything with this clipboard that has my script, can I have everybody's attention? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I see you already. You already know where I'm going with this. Um, I am so excited to see everyone's wonderful faces back in here today. It looks like you've had your breakfast. It looks like you've had your coffee. You already know you were here yesterday. I've got to do an energy check. Now, just in case there's someone here um, for the first time, you weren't able to be here, I want to make sure I introduce myself. I'm a firm believer that you should probably know who's talking to you. And so I am Kyron Guerrero. Kai for short, it's a lot easier. And I have the pleasure of serving as a cloud solution architect here at Microsoft in our federal business. And so I like to make sure that we can uh, stay pumped up, that we stay energetic throughout this whole event. And so I have this thing that I do called energy checks. We do this thing called energy checks. It's really simple. If you were here yesterday, can we teach everyone who might be new today how it's done? Really quick, let me see those hands. Let me see those hands. Really good, 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 good. Oh my gosh, okay, that's like 100%. So you guys must have really enjoyed yesterday. You must be really excited about all of the amazing things that you're getting ready to experience today. And we are here because we are making it real. So can you guys shout that for me one time? One, two, three, making it real. Okay, whoa, wait a minute. We didn't that we went on one accord there. We are one big happy family. So I'm gonna count to three and we're gonna shout making it real all together. Okay, it's gonna be making it real, just like that. Here we go. One, two, three, making it real. Okay, I think that they're ready. A lot of complexity. So what are we looking at? Uh, we are looking at um, solutions or platforms that are secure, reliable. 
Live vlog, so we are literally um, almost at the halfway point. We're in breakout sessions now. I'm in room one, which is for technical track. Um, they're getting ready to, well, I'm getting ready to kick off this session in a second. We got two awesome presenters. I have not ate my oatmeal for breakfast this morning. I was just locked in as soon as I got here, but I've got my lemonade. I don't even know if there's any caffeine in there. It's probably not enough, but I, I think I've got enough energy to make it through today. Um, really, really good day today. I almost feel like they have even more energy than they did yesterday. Um, well, let's keep rocking. Let's keep rocking. All right, vlog. So we just wrapped early. Y'all, how am I about to sprint out of this conference center to my car to try to beat this rush hour traffic and get to my gym should be illegal. Let's get up out of here quickly. Can somebody please explain to me why it's going to take me 47 minutes to drive 16 miles? America, explain. America, explain. This is called workout in a can. <laughs> Yo, I'd be too happy to get in my gym. I done left my headphones in the car. Absolutely not. I would like to add that this Celsius flavor is disgusting. Orange pomegranate? Don't ever get that in your life, ever. Three hours later. We out. All right, vlog. It's late. I'm finally home. I'm tired. Let me pick this package up. I think this is my... Lord Jesus. We'll figure out if this is tomorrow. I'm tired. I'll see you guys in the morning. One day later. What up, vlog? It's a new day. It's haircut Thursday. Um, as you can see, I'm already outside. My hair takes 12,000 hours to drive, but I'm about to grab some Starbucks. I got on shorts today. It feels good. I think it's like 75. So I think it's really like officially spring, but um, we're about to grab Starbucks. We're gonna go get our hair cut. We did a little bit of work this morning. Um, and then after that, we're gonna go to the gym because we gotta sweat, you know what I'm saying? Gotta get these gains, you know what I mean? So by the summertime, if you see me outside with my shirt off, just smile away, smile away. But we're working on it. <laughs> Little bit of a cheat drink. Oh my god. I low key need a car wash too. I should have time to do that today. I'm gonna get my car washed. Probably after the gym. After the gym vlog, we'll get the car wash. And I don't know what we're gonna do after that. Oh, we got a birthday dinner to go to, so we'll go to that too. All right, vlog, so I made it to where my barbershop is, but I got a little bit of time before my actual appointment. And there's this comic store um, that's around the corner. So we're gonna go see what they got. Fun fact, I'm definitely a nerd. And so hopefully I can find some cool stuff to take home with me. Let's go see what they got. Absolutely. We even vacuumed for you before you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm also vlogging, so. They had Peach Momoko do it. Yeah. He's a Japanese artist. Oh, so wow. that's a that's a Marvel book, but it looks like definitely looks you know, like manga. Japanese. Yeah, maybe yeah, for so sure. If you're into that, it's really cool. Do do. I'm gonna have to grab some Spidey stuff. First, the soccer, you know, it's just, you know, black color, just... Yo. So if you didn't know, I'm a huge Black Panther fan. And they're, one of the ultimate Black Panther um, comics came out this week, yesterday. And of course it was sold out. He was like, oh, we don't have any. Everybody comes, they already sold out. This man, let me look around the store, came back. He went to the back, came back. Was like, all right, man, I got one left. If I was supposed to be holding it, I'm gonna let you get it. So your boy got the comic. Shout out to all the nerds, nerd gang. Ladies and gentlemen, Barbara of the Year, Barbara of the Decade, Stefan Broxton. Barbara of the Year? Yeah. Who am I And it's only March. Who am I High five, man. Oh, yeah. 
That's it. Bob of the year. So proud of you. You do so great. You couldn't save me none of these? It was only like a half a bag. I just pulled it out of the car. That's how I get treated, but it's cool, you know? He knew I was coming. He knew I was going to be on time. He knew exactly what time I was going to be here. But my barber, you know. Is finally on time. I'm on time. on time. I'm on time every week. He be late, running behind. Typical, pastor. typical pastor black barber. Typical pastor. black barber. They ain't never on time. You know, you can't trust black folk. Uh, so you're going to say all this before you get your haircut. Cool. I, no, no, no. We got to remember what I said first was Barber of the Year. But I have no award. I have no award. And your reward year. will be in heaven. Amen. You can't say nothing to that. Do you know if you want to heaven? I believe you'll go. What's up there? Have you been up there before? I personally have been up there. I started up there and I came down here. But I'll be so making my way there? back. What's up there? So long ago, I can't remember. But uh, according to the book of Revelations, uh, come on, man. Because I want, I, want I want a Ferrari. I want a Rolls Royce. I ain't no Ferraris up there. there. You have a mansion, though. I have a mansion? Yeah. What kind of mansion? I don't, I don't I want, I want, I want him my own. I want to be all under with you, all my I, I believe you'll have your own. Can your wife stay with you or she got to have her own? Wow, he's quiet. Hopefully his wife doesn't see this. I want her to... Um, she can stay, but if I ever ask her to leave, you want her to, she can leave. Why your wife can't stay with you in heaven? It's heaven. You know I'm the boy with you when I cut with you. Well, I guess you said till death do y'all part. This is how you got cut hair. He's oh, from my bad, Chris. He's from Baltimore, so you know. Yeah, I pray for me. Hopefully, nobody's looking for him. Why are you close his eyes? North Carolina. ANC? Or just Oh, just North Carolina. Oh, oh. That's the player I want on it. Just football. Let me football. Basketball. He hoops. Oh, hey. We, we got the fresh chop. You see the kid? We outside. Well, we, we not about to be outside. You got to go work out. But I look good. When you look good, you feel good. When you feel good, you do good. Or well, whatever Coach Prime said. Let's go work out. All right, so I just came home for a quick second to get a change of clothes so that I can shower and stuff after this workout. But I signed up for this um, like basketball training thing at this basketball academy. And so I'm about to go do that for an hour. It should be fun. Um, I don't know if I told y'all last episode about how I got into this whole basketball training and wanted to get better at basketball. But I'll explain it. I'll explain it. Our vlog, I just got to Pat the Rock Basketball Academy. We got a little session today. It's my first one, so I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm excited, low-key kind of nervous, but it should be straight. <laughs> vlog, let me tell y'all something. I know what I was walking into. Um, here at Pat the Rock Basketball Academy, I just died. A good one, though. A good day. Um, very solid first day. I got a lot of work to do. Uh, but we ran threes. We won both our games, so that was cool. And then the workouts were good, too. It was pretty cool. It was fun. I'm still sweating. Look at all this perspiration. I I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Um, but I had a good time. It was a really, really good first time experience. I think I'm gonna um go ahead and get the membership. Basically, it's a uh it's called Pat the Rock. It's a basketball academy, and they are open seven days a week. Always there training people how to play basketball. But let me let's get into a little story time of like why this is even a thing. And child, don't shouldn't you already know how to play basketball? You a six five black man, 28 years old. Let's let's get into story time. I gotta turn this air on so I can cool down. I am on my way to my actual gym so I can shower and change before I go to this um uh, birthday dinner. But let's get into story time. Okay, so the year is 2024, and I am 
officially learning how to play basketball. Now, I played basketball in middle school and my first year of high school, but then I got my first job, which was at Burger King, and I was like, hmm, practice, sports, money. I've been a businessman for a long time, and the dollars have always made sense to me since a wee little lad. And so I was like, ha, huh, going to get all these hours at this job, get this money. So all throughout growing up, I, um, my father was in prison, like in and out of prison. And so typically people's dads teach them how to play sports. Mine out of the picture. Cool. No problem. I had a bunch of cousins, but they were, child, y'all don't want to know the stuff that they was doing. So they didn't have time for me. They was too busy, um, dodging things and fighting and all types of other fun extracurricular character building activities that I uh, was not allowed to go participate in for obvious reasons. So basically whenever it was time to like play outside or play sports or something like that, I was in the house reading books because I'm a nerd. So I was I was in a reading uh, at an early age. I was keeping up with politics and stuff like that in government. I just had um, an extreme passion for it. So sports I, is something that I never really paid attention to like I did, but I didn't really have a desire to really like learn, learn how to play. I also played football for like, we shouldn't even count that. I went to a couple of practices and the coach was saying some stuff and I was like, this is y'all pay him. Like, I'm pretty sure he shouldn't be saying things like this to children. Like, now, granted, I know coaches, you know, they got to whatever, motivate. But some of the stuff he was saying, super questionable. Now, that was back then. Today, if he was saying those things, I know parents wouldn't go for it now. Um, like, I can't even repeat out loud some of the stuff that he would say. This guy wants to sell me flowers. I don't want flowers. Now, back to basketball. So, whenever it's time to play, because I wasn't really good, I was like, eh, I'm good. I'll play tag. I'll stay in the house. I'll read. And so, or, and I used to say to myself, like, I'll eventually learn, like, somebody will teach me. That never really happened. So, in all these years, just never really learning. Now, granted, I say that, and I played basketball all throughout middle school, but I, that doesn't count. We ain't know what he's doing. We middle schoolers. We just kids. And then, again, during high school, during the season, I think I, like, quit as soon as I got my job. So like, yeah, I would be at practice and stuff and learning, but after I got my job, so many times, so much, so much time rather went by that the little bit that I did learn that didn't stick. And then I started learning about counting money and all that. Now that stuck, glory to God. Um, so whenever, and as I got older in college and stuff like that, like my frat brothers, they would always go to the gym and be like, oh, let's go hoop, gotta go hoop. And I'm like, wow, that's so great. Now, you guys, for the ones who know me personally, and if you don't, I'm going to teach you something new. I like to participate in things that I am exceptional at and that I do great at because I can be very competitive and I, I don't mind losing, but I mind losing. So I tend to participate in things where I, at bare minimum, like can compete, can actually compete. And basketball was not one of those things. So I just got further and further away from it. I don't even know why. Let me think. So at the end of last year or towards the middle of last year, um, I was talking to one of my best friends. Shout out to Trey. Shout out to T. Kirk, also known as Diesel, who's a professional basketball player. And throughout the years, we've always like talked about basketball because it's a huge part of his life. Um, and I remember one time, like I would go to his school to visit him and stuff like that while we were in undergrad. We're also uh, frat brothers. We're Sands. We're both Car Spring Seventeen, Cap Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, greatest fraternity on the man. You knew that though. Anyway, so um, when I would come visit him at his school, he'd be like, "All right, like let's go to the gym." I'm like, "Do do do do. We going to the gym?" He is going to the gym to play basketball. He's like, bro, come on, we about to hoop. People there, we there, let's hoop. I'm like, hey, 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 you got too much dip on your ship. Too excited. 
I am not hooping because I'm not going to be good. And I don't like to lose. So I literally, I think I brought my laptop to the dome. Uh, he went to Centenary. And while they hooped, I don't know what I was doing. I might have did homework or something, some scholastics. I don't know. But I did something, and I watched them hoop. And, um, yeah. I also, another thing important to highlight about this is over time, because I'm 6'5", people expect that I'm good at basketball and that I can hoop. So there would be these expectations and I would have to let people down. Like even randomly in public, I can be at Target, I can be at a mall, people will like walk up to me like, hey man, you're so tall, who you play for? Jesus, I play for Jesus, the Lord, my savior. And the game that we play is salvation, hallelujah. Um, and so I'll be like, oh yeah, I don't hoop. Like they be like, man, you don't hoop. And then people will start to say stuff like, oh, you got all that height for no reason. And oh, you tall for nothing. And you put all that height to, to waste. First of all, who said that if you tall, you got to play basketball? What's the problem with black people? Oh my gosh. But stereotype, it's a stereotype. If you're tall, the expectation is that you play sports, primarily basketball. And so throughout my life, anytime anybody sees me or meets me for the first time, or even just strangers in public, they assume that I play basketball and then I would have to let them down easy and then hear whatever response. And I think in the moment, it didn't really mean anything to me. Like it was like, I, don't, I just don't hope I do this. But I didn't realize that subconsciously, it was kind of eating away at my confidence and my ability just to even be able to just do it. So it's something that I kind of just avoided <laughs> without realizing. And then in, I think it was like towards the middle of last year is when I was talking to Trey, kind of got sidetracked and realized that it was an area in my life that I was um, kind of insecure in. Let's talk about insecurities. So I decided that we ain't doing that no more. We don't do insecure. We ain't, we ain't, nope. So I made a commitment to myself last year to kind of uncover with the help of Holy Spirit um, some of the things that I was insecure about or am insecure about and do the work uh, to build my confidence in those areas. Um, and it can even hide in something as small as like playing basketball or just doing something that you have made like this silent agreement or silent resolve in your mind that you'll just never be good at or never be able to do. And for me, one of those things was playing basketball, which is crazy because it's supposed to like it's a sport. It's fun. You should be able to just play it. But I think after all of like hearing all those negative comments and stuff like that, I just told myself like, oh, this is something I'll never be able to do. I'm not good at it. I'll never be good at it. I don't have anybody to teach me. Fast forward. It's 2024 and we are viciously attacking. Uh, I mean, very aggressively attacking our in addressing our insecurities and doing the things that we said we wouldn't be able to because why not? Why not? So long story short, when I got my membership at my gym, they have a basketball court in there. And I remember my first day coming and seeing the court like, oh, that's cool. And at the time I was just primarily focused on like strength training and stuff like that. So I'll come and just lift weights and stuff like that. And one day randomly, I was like, let me just, ain't nobody in here. Let me go. <laughs> let me, let me go into the court on the court and just kind of just shoot around. And, um, I remember doing it and just having so much fun. I was like, dang, I forgot how fun playing basketball would be. And I was just in there just shooting around by myself, but it, I had such a good time. And what really did it, because I had my Apple watch on, you know, we got to track our workouts and stuff. I had burned a lot of calories. And I was like, hmm, yeah, we're going to have to, we're going to have to do this again. Something on my glasses or we'll clean it in a second. We're going to have to do this again. Um, so I started like watching YouTube videos. My friend Trey started, I like, I would call him on FaceTime and like prop the phone, phone up and have him like give me pointers and critiques, um, working on my shot and stuff like that. And I just started having fun and I low key started to fall in love with playing basketball. 
a million years later, which is wild that I kind of over the course of my life robbed myself of the experience of doing something that I actually really enjoy and find fun because of how I thought people would perceive me or um, my ability to do well in it. That I preach with. It really would. And so what things in your life, <laughs> I'm a preacher, so I got to, what things in your life have you made like a silent vow that you'll never be good at? And so you just never attempt to do them again. Like you just kind of ex, ex nay it and you never try, you never do it. And it is actually something that you enjoy, but because of how other people critique your ability or lack thereof at the time, how people judged where you were um, in that current stage in your talent or ability, and maybe the negative things that they said cause for you to shrink and put something down that you like we're doing just to have fun that people have these expectations that you're supposed to do whatever whatever like what have what what things what other things have we put down um out of the pressure of other people's expectations for us um which is wild but we ain't doing that anymore so i'll be in here I'm like a whole other person. I've been here playing basketball like every day, five, six days a week for my cardio and do strength training and stuff like that. And I've actually got a pretty, I'm riding pretty decent. So I have a shot now, which is cool. Um, I'm working on my handles these days. And I, I think I've gotten to a point now, like after watching YouTube videos and taking advice from my best friend Trey on like certain things to do and like just doing basketball workouts where I'm like, all right, cool. I think I need, you know, I'm gonna get some extra help now because Trey's always overseas. Otherwise he could be here and help and train me, but he is gone. He ain't here. He's not overseas. No, he might be. He was just in Canada. I don't know where he at, but he's a Harlem Globe Trotter, which is really cool. Um, you guys, I have to hear his story on how he got got to that point too. At some point, really inspiring. But um, so one day I was hooping at the gym, and one of the guys, young guys that I was hooping with, like I was explaining to him, like you know how I'm just kind of now really learning how to play basketball. And they're like, "Oh man, that's crazy!" And the young dude was like, "Hey man, like." You know, you might not feel like you're the greatest right now, but if you really want to do this, there's this place not too far from our gym that literally all they do is teach people how to play basketball every day, seven days a week. And he like gave me, gave me the Instagram and stuff like that. And I was like, I want to check it out. And so that's where I just came from. That was like about a week and a half ago. Um, but I went on the website and stuff and it seemed cool, super inexpensive too. So I went today for the first time and I know, I know it was a whole workout a whole workout but um one of the guys that i hoop with at my gym he we had we were like signed up for the same appointment so it was cool to see a familiar face when i got in there which was cool because you never know what to expect and so we got in there and um like we had we were doing it was me and him we were doing our workouts together and he was telling me that when he first started coming there that he was like really bad he was like yeah i was like really bad but i've been coming here for like i think he said like three or three or four years now and this guy like this this kid's good and he was just saying like a lot of his ability and why he's able to be as good as he is now is because he's been going there. So I think I'm going to go. And I don't really have an end goal for this. It's just something that I've decided I want to be able to do. And I want to be able to do well, even in my adult life, that, you know, I ain't necessarily going to go compete or anything like that. But it's just something I want to do. I say all of that to say, if you identify anything in your life that you just want to do, even if you can't necessarily do something with it, but it's just something that you've always wanted to do. And like, you know, you've gotten older, you've pursued other, other things, you've become successful in other areas, but there are certain things that you might've just put down because of time or your focus wasn't just there or for whatever reason. I challenge you to revisit some of those things um, just to prove it to yourself that A, you can because anything is possible and it's never too late. It's never too late. It's never too late. It's never too late. So that's kind of the story on how the long or the short of the story on how I got into like doing all this basketball training and stuff like that. So I'll probably like show you guys some clips as the journey continues. Um, but that's, that's what we're doing. And I know that for me, although it's basketball, um, one of the things that I'm noticing is that as I'm getting better, at the sport that I'm becoming more confident in other areas too. But we'll talk about that a whole nother time. Um, yeah, I gotta hurry up and get changed though. It's 
525 I'm supposed to have been left so I gotta get I'm about to go in my gym to shower and change to go to this birthday party so let's go let's go change real quick yo I'm literally about to be here for two seconds I just came here to use the showers and change they didn't have uh showers at the basketball gym but Ooh, I'm kind of running behind yikes Shout out to Transformation Church for the shorts. Very cool. A few moments later. Quick little, you know, little one two, little one two. All right, I'm in DC. I hate driving in DC. I hate being in DC. There's too many humans, too much traffic. But I'm here. Um, Got to get a little parking ticket so we don't get a parking ticket or parking voucher rather. Um, I would famous for getting one of those. I'll be making up parking spots. Be better than me. Don't do that. So the lamp and the ceramics. It's like a completely like super chill and super chill. I was super heavy on it. I'm like, I'm trying to tell you. This is what all right so we're just walking to this random bookstore because they think that it's a bookstore in a bar so we're literally just coming to investigate if that is nice. say hi to the vlog hey vlog no mountain you won't climb up, shadow you won't light up, coming after me. Because we gotta rehearse. Because we got to sing on Sunday. Praise the Lord. Um, we just left dinner. We're in Whole Foods because it's Whole Foods. And you get a whole snack, a whole healthy snack. I want some water, though. That's what I'll do. Got him! Three, two, ready, go! Good vlog. It is a new day. I had a later start to the day. I was up pretty late last night, so I kind of slept in today. Um, so I'm just now getting to the gym. I ain't even gonna tell y'all what time it is, but we about to work out. Then I'm going to get some dinner and stuff afterwards and catch a movie. I low-key forgot what I'm seeing, but I'll tell y'all in a second. It's normally way more people in here, but not today. Probably because it's gloomy outside. Kind of keeps people from coming out. Mm. Three hours later. Hi vlog, so I have made it to the mall. I'm about to go grab some dinner before I see a movie. Um, as you can see, I have a different outfit on, so I had a good workout. Um, guess we can do a little quick fit check if I can find a mirror somewhere. But I'm starving, so. Did I lock my car door? Lord, I hope I did. Let's go get some food. One day later. What up vlog? It's a new dawn, it's a new day, and I'm feeling good. It's Saturday. Um, I'm stopping at Starbucks really quick to grab some breakfast before I head to rehearsal. Um, for those of you who don't know, you're new here, I serve as a praise and worship leader at my church. So we be singing and worshiping God and stuff like that. It's one of my favorite things to do. And so I'm gonna bring you guys with me to rehearsal today. I'm gonna try to get some clips, but I can't promise it. We need focus, but we'll see. Again, the devil, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But we serve a God who does much more than we could ever imagine. He's turning it around. It's working for my good. All right, we are done with rehearsal. Rehearsal was great. Um, it's time to go to the gym. I'm gonna work out. I think I'm gonna get my car washed after that, go home, eat some meal prep. I have some brands to work on 
and I'll probably do a little bit of Bible study and then maybe get into binge watching some more of Scandal. Um, that's all I got. Now we're going to see if that's how this day goes. Anything can happen. Let's go. All right, I just finished uh, hooping. I gotta start bringing my tripod in here. Um, we just played a bunch of games. Very good party. I'm about to go lift now. And I still need to make time to go get my car wash. It's very dirty. And I just realized I'm really eight years old. I have that oatmeal from Starbucks. I have really much. Because um, God talk to anybody else at the gym a lot. I feel like every time I come in here, probably because it's not like a lot of distractions, he always got something to say. Um, one thing that I've learned is God is always talking. Uh, most times we're not listening, but we've been talking. Alright, I low key lost my car. More so, I forgot where I parked. I'm kind of sad. The cafe was closing as I was leaving, so I couldn't even get my protein shake. Luckily, I got protein at home, so I'm going to make one when I get home. And I'm starving. And I was thinking about what can I eat, but then I remembered we meal prepped, so we're prepared. I'm about to eat. I'm trying to decide. I got two options. I got like this. Uh, what did I make? A garlic brown sugar glazed salmon and the asparagus in one. And then another one, I got like this um, Cajun chicken breast with potatoes and asparagus. Low key. Hey, I don't know what I want to eat. I'll figure it out when I get home. I just made it to the car wash just for the man of God to tell me they are only taking cash right now and I do not carry cash so this is unfortunate I was gonna leave I hate going to ATMs and getting money out but my car really needs to be washed so I'm just gonna take the L which is not really an L it's just an inconvenience so I guess we're gonna go to the ATM and get cash so we can get our car washed let's go I think I'm gonna switch it up this week. I normally get green grapes, but we're gonna get red. I've been thinking I want to add like a pasta to my meal prep this week, so I think I'm gonna do like some noodles with marinara, maybe like some ground turkey ball meatballs or something like that, just to kind of switch it up. So let's I'll see what I can find. Get up out of here. All right, vlog, I'm getting ready to put this food away. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here. It's been a really dope week. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm gonna keep them coming, keep them coming. If you got any ideas for things that you wanna see me do, just let me know, drop something in the comment. Let me know how this week's episode was for you and I'll see you next episode. Let's go.